Hey, what's up, Robert? A uh, quick demo video for you for your Corbanth Hero Supreme. Uh, got this done today and it's looking good. So I wanted to go over it with you. Uh, a few things on the outside, these buttons here, um, I had to sand and file down off the anodizing that was on the uh, stems that actually go in the control box so that they would move freely. Um, with the anodizing on, they press in and they get stuck. So I did modify these on the back um, this clamp card is just held on with a little bit of E6000, so that way it won't go anywhere on you, but if you ever wanted to take it off in the future, it's possible to pop that guy off. Um, you've got your stock MPXLs in there. This does take a one inch diameter blade, which I've got a test blade right here. And then uh, this has a Goth Eco chassis. So we just open it up right here, take this off. This has a recharge port. So your recharge port is right here. Um, I did not have a low profile kill key. I had uh, some normal ones that I print out, but I had to cut it down and I got it to work. So that's what's in there for the time being and that's what will be sent to you. But what, uh, you know, I would just say whatever you put in there, it's gotta be real low profile so that it could slide past this guy. Um, <clears throat> we'll pull that in a second. You got your 28 millimeter uh, dark side smuggler's outpost base speaker here. Um, I do have red and green accents behind these two arrows. Uh, they are on just right now. They, they come on when you turn the saber on. Um, I did include your config file on your SD card so that you can um, program those LEDs however you like. So let's pull the kill key. We'll put this on. You do have gesture controls. So if you wanted to, if you wanted to uh, swing on like this, you definitely do that. You can see your LEDs working good there. Nice, bright shine through. Your front button's gonna be your auxiliary. Your back button is your power, but we can twist off. <clears throat> now the tactiles in here spin, so that that's a... Um, Something with this model uh, that's different than the Gold Wing. So, like, like the Gold Wing, these buttons are actually um, they're square inserts on the side of the control box. Here, there's just circular inserts or circular holes for the tactile switches to stick out. And the tactile switches that you gave me, uh, they do spin just like all the other tactiles do. So, um, to get these, you know, from time to time, you might get something that looks like that. But that that is the design of the saber so i just line them back up and then you can hit power lights everything up of course hit auxiliary we'll turn it off um to put a blade in what you want to do is you want to unscrew this guy be careful not to unscrew this neck because there's wires here i did hand tighten it as tight as i could but it will unscrew from here if you're not careful that is not where you want to unscrew it. So you want to unscrew it right here. So I'll just kind of grab it like this and unscrew this guy. When you get this off, you've got two blade retention screws. You got one right here and then 180 degrees from it right here. Uh, those have to be fully engaged in order for that emitter cap to, to uh, twist on. So we'll back these out. So we can put our blade in. You got a one inch test blade, like I said. Make sure it's all the way engaged. Tighten these back up. It's a little bit of a process, but it's not too bad. I need to do it on my lap. <clears throat> I have a crappy test blade and it is pretty ate up on the bottom so it does not like the dual side uh, blade retention screws. <laughs> so once you get that screwed in, take this guy, slide it over the blade.
this may be the wrong one for it. So apologies, this is the wrong one. Um, I've got your right one in the house, but we can do the test without this from now on, or for the rest of this video. This piece, this hill actually came with three of these. I grabbed the wrong one when I came out here. So we're gonna hit power. And you see your blades working. We hit tap auxiliary for blaster deflex, so we hold it for blade lock up. And if we turn it off, we can tap our auxiliary to change sound fonts. Again. What you don't want to do is go into the mute menu. So I'm just going to put the kill key back in. Let's pull it out. You can see that's working. See your LEDs are working. We'll do it again. Everything's working good. The only thing that I do not like really on this hilt is the fact that these buttons spin. Um, and that's something that just, that can't be helped. These guys right here. Uh, there's a constant adjusting for me uh, because having them all crooked like that, it just drives me nuts. But, um, you know, it is what it is on this guy. But install wise, it's all good to go. Everything's working properly. And I uh, hope it came out the way you wanted it to. Uh, get it out in the mail of you tomorrow morning. Thanks.